Hi there, this is Jennifer McGuire for Studio Calico. In this video, I'm going to show you a fun technique using wood veneer, which is one of my favorite products from Studio Calico. We're going to create a necklace out of the wood veneer hearts. They have lots of fun different shapes, but I think the hearts are perfect for a quick necklace like this. It makes a great gift, especially for a teenage girl. I plan to give this to my stepdaughter. So I have these wood veneer hearts. These are great because you can ink them, you can paint them, you can color them, you can do anything you want with them, or you can leave them as they are. But I found out you can actually punch holes through them too. I'm using my crocodile to do this. However, you can use any hole punch. I found others work well too. After I punched a couple holes in each heart, I decided I wanted to add some color to this. I'm going to use my Mr. Hueys. Now I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can color these hearts. I like to spray off on my craft sheet or on something to the side and paint it on with a paintbrush. You can also spray it, but I find this to be a little easier to control because I tend to make a mess out of my mists. So I'm just going to paint this on and you can see you can get like a light wash for the hearts, which is really quite pretty. Now I wanted to make it more intense. To make the Mr. Hueys more intense, the way I do it is I take their Studio Calico white color and then I add one of the colors to it and see you can see it gets nice and thick. I'm going to add a little more color here, but this will paint on and give you more of a painted look as opposed to just kind of a whitewash look. So you can see it's going on thicker this way. Now I could go and add more color to this or do whatever I'd like, but it's nice that you can have the option by adding in that white to get the color that you want. So I decided I wanted to make this even more intense, so I'm going in with the heirloom blue and adding that to it, and you can see how good and intense this color can get. Again, if you leave the white out of it, you just get a nice um, washed look, which is pretty also. So after I let this dry, you'll get a really good color on the wood. Now I've got two of the smaller hearts, and I'm going to start with some white and then add in some other bright color red, Mr. Huey's, to the white. So I'm mixing it up and you can see how nice and thick this goes on here. It's really quite pretty. Now you could spray layers, spray it with white first and then spray the red color on top. But I like the control of mixing it because you can make it either as red as you want or maybe a lighter pink. So you can control it a little bit more. And for my last two hearts I wanted to come up with a green so I started with my white, added some estate green to it, mixed it up and I found it was a little too lime green for me when I mixed these two. So I'm actually going in with more of a blue color of Mr. Huey's and then I'm going to mix this up and it gives me more the color I want. Again, this is one of the great things about mixing these mists up to the side and painting them on. You can really control the color that you get and get some great um, variety and lots of options from them. Now I just set these aside to dry for a while and you can see how it dries really nice. You can still see that these are a wood veneer heart which I think is really fun and gives it great character but it's really got some great color now too. Now I'm using glossy accents to put a thick coating on this heart. I want to make sure that it keeps the color and also it gives it a little bit of a shine, a nice finished look. So I'm just spreading around a nice thick coating. You could skip this step if you wanted to or you can use any kind of finish on this like maybe a Mod Podge or a, a matte multimedium, anything you'd like. But I think glossy accents adds a little something to it. But when doing this, be sure that you don't fill those holes up because we want to be able to add our jewelry makings to it. So make sure you keep those holes nice and open on each of the hearts. Now after giving these some time to dry, you can see the great finish that you get on each of these hearts. Now to do this, I'm not a big jewelry maker. I don't really know a whole lot about the different kinds of products there are. But I just hit my local craft store and found these little jump rings to connect all of the hearts. Now I've also been known to take an old necklace apart and kind of change things up and use um, some of my scrapbooking embellishments for it. So you can also do that. But I just got these inexpensive jump rings and I'm just going to use them to connect the hearts together. I'm going to put the big in the um, heart in the middle and then the two hearts on each side. I also have an inexpensive chain here that I found and I just split it in half. So you can see the clasp is right at the center, right there at the top, and I'm going to connect these two ends to the ends of the hearts. So this is just an easy way to do it. You could do a quick Google search to find other ways to do jewelry, but I wanted to use some of the products that I could quickly and easily find. So I've connected one side here, and then I'll take that other end and add it to the other red heart. And here you have the finished necklace, just something fun and different to do with your Studio Calico wood veneer products. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to visit studiocalico.com.